Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2020 Building Controls Industry Association Awards. When I took over from John Belfield as the president in March, no one could have foreseen what the next six months would hold for our industry. I certainly never expected to be doing my first speech as president at an awards dinner which is being held on a virtual platform because we're not allowed to meet. It would be customary at this point in my speech to say it's been great to see so many of you here this evening. Sadly, we're not together in person, but we are together in spirit because although the last six months has been challenging for us all, I have been heartened to see the way that our industry has once again pulled together to work as one big team as we forge ahead on our collective goals. When the government imposed a lockdown midway through March, many of us had to adapt to the new work schedules. The issue of working from home has been one that we've all had to embrace along with the need to hold meetings virtually through communication platforms like Zoom. For many industries, this has proved to be very difficult, but the building controls industry is different. We're a sociable bunch, all right, but cutting off our ability to meet has not cut off our ability to work together. In fact, I've heard some fantastic stories over the last few months of people and companies who've gone above and beyond the call of duty to help others in their hour of need. It's for this reason that I'm very proud to stand here this evening as the president of the BCIA, knowing that I'm representing not just companies who have joined a trade association, but a whole bunch of companies who genuinely care about each other and who work together for the greater good. I'm delighted to say that we now have 117 members of the BCIA, a number which continues to grow steadily. Every new member represents a strengthening of our collective voice and our ability to initiate change, and I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to all of our members, both old and new this evening. You are the reason that our collective voice becomes louder. Our working groups continue to flourish, and I would urge you all to join one of the groups because it's only through your participation that we can continue to achieve what we have. Despite lockdown, they've met via Zoom, and just to give an indication of what they've achieved, the marketing group have been responsible for bringing this event to you this evening. And in July, they launched a brand new competition, Schools Out, which is aimed at children and designed to engage the young engineers of tomorrow on the subject of energy saving. The results of this competition will be announced next week. Our technical working group have been working on a number of new technical guides and they continue to represent the BCIA with other groups and associations to provide best practice advice and facilitate a greater understanding of efficient building operation. The skills working group were responsible for the launch of the BCIA's virtual training in May. But perhaps their biggest achievement this year has been the BEMS Controls Engineer Apprenticeship Standard. I'm delighted to say that this has now been approved for delivery and the group, together with the Trailblazer Employer Group, are working hard to engage a training provider and deliver a suite of new training courses. I'd like to thank everyone who has given their time and input to the working groups and in particular, the chairs for these groups for their leadership they bring. Let us now turn our attention back to the awards. We had a record number of entries this year and the judging day back in February proved to be very difficult. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of our judges who embraced the difficult task of deciding who the finalists and winners would be this evening. And now to our finalists. My congratulations goes to each and every one of you. You truly are outstanding and have shown that what we do in some exceptional people, projects, 
products and companies in our industry. I'd love to be able to shake every one of your hands this evening as I present your final certificate, but sadly I can't. But we have posted your certificates to you all, so please take photos with them and send them to us so everyone can share in your success. I would also like to give a special mention to our young engineer finalists. Laura Ennis, Hugh Bostock, Cameron Thompson, Joshua Austin, Jake Piner, Ronnie Stevens, and Peter Kilvington. You should all be very proud of yourselves this evening, and I'm delighted to say that the BCIA will once again present each of you with associate membership to Zibsi in recognition of you being a finalist. Before we start announcing this year's winners, I would like to say a huge thank you to our sponsors whose continued support and commitment has made this year's BCIA awards possible. Firstly, to our gold sponsors, Johnson Controls, Priva, Schneider Electric, Siemens Building Products, Trend Control Systems, and Western Automation. I'd also like to thank a number of other sponsors who have all contributed to the awards in some way, even though this is a virtual event. So thank you to Belimo, Crown House Technologies, Distech Controls, Redfern Contract Consultants, and Sonte. And to our media partners, Energy in Buildings and Industry, and Smart Buildings Magazine, both of whom continue to help us provide the valuable work of the BCIA. Last, but certainly not least, I'd like to say a big thank you to Global Associates who have sponsored our entertainment this evening. And I'm delighted to say that when the awards presentations conclude, we will welcome on stage the fantastic Susie Ruffle. Before we get to the main part of the evening, the awards presentations, I would just like to remind you that we have once again supporting Mind as our charity this evening. Last year we raised over £3,000, although heads and tails is not an option tonight. I would urge you to make a donation on the fundraising page. Mind is a charity which is close to many of our hearts, and now, more than ever, they need your money. So please make a donation tonight and help Minds be there for everyone who needs them. All that's left to say is, good luck to all our finalists. Thank you all for supporting this evening's event, and thanks once again to our sponsors and media partners. Please enjoy your evening, wherever you're celebrating. Cheers, everyone, and good luck tonight. Thank you, Terry. Hello, good evening, and a very warm welcome to the BCIA Awards, coming to you virtually tonight. So charge your glass, grab a cold beer, and get yourself settled. Tonight, we'll be celebrating excellence in building controls, honouring those companies and individuals who've excelled in their field. Every single finalist should be justly proud to have reached the shortlist, and they deserve their moment of fame. Now don't forget, there's still time to donate to our chosen charity, Mind. Remember, every donation puts you in with a chance of winning a bottle of champagne. And do send us your photos of your awards experience this evening. Finalists, don't forget to include your certificate in that pic. Please email them to robin at keystonecoms.co.uk and tweet them using hashtag BCIA Awards 20. Hashtag BCIA Awards 20. We'll be using all your photos to make up a celebration montage of the awards and everyone here tonight will receive a copy. Now you'll need your book of the night ready to follow along with the awards this evening, so if you haven't already done so, download or print it now. Next, it's the main event. Let's reveal the winners. Tonight's first award is for Building Controls and BEMS Installer of the Year. The sponsor of this award is Trend Control Systems. And on that impressive shortlist this year are ABEC, Crown House Technologies, Global Associates, Impact Control Systems, Linear Control Systems, SSE Enterprise Energy Solutions, Syscom Building Management, and Total Control Services. So where's the trophy going? Ladies and gentlemen, our first award tonight goes to Global Associates. Next up, we have the first of our two people categories, Engineer of the Year. This category is sponsored by BCIA Training. Let's have a look at the finalists. They are 
Duncan Green from Abtech Building Technologies, Lawrence Nunn from Crown House Technologies, Mark Clements also from Crown House Technologies, Tony Baverstock from In Tandem Systems, Ben Richards from Kendra Energy Solutions, and Tony Smith from Schneider Electric. A strong shortlist there, but who picked the other finalists to the post? I can tell you. The winner is Lawrence Nunn from Crown House Technologies. We move on now to our second people category with Young Engineer of the Year. This category is open to those aged 35 and under. The sponsors are Schneider Electric. A strong shortlist this year, and they are Laura Ennis from ABEC, Hugh Bostock from Comfort Controls, Cameron Thompson from Crown House Technologies, Joshua Austin from Global Associates, Jake Piner from In Tandem Systems, Ronnie Stevens from Kendra Energy Solutions, and Peter Kilvington from Pillinger Controls. Wow, it's great to see so much young talent in this industry, but there can only be one winner. Congratulations go to Jake Piner from In Tandem Systems. And now we move on to the Energy Management Award. The sponsor for this category is Preva. Eight companies made it to our shortlist, and they are Heathrow Airport Terminal 5 from BMSI. Building data analytics is key to decarbonizing the built environment by CIM. The Crown Estate from Demand Logic and JLL. Energy saving via integration of control systems by Cardiff and Vale College and Detail Design Engineering. Ecopilot UK in partnership with Eon Control Solutions. Notting Hill Group from BSW Heating and In Tandem Systems. Vodafone UK from Mighty Energy. And Morrison's BEMS Optimization from Optimized Buildings. All of those great examples of effective energy management, but again, there can only be one winner, and that is Optimized Buildings for Morrison's BEMS Optimization. Next up, we have Best Service and Maintenance Provider, sponsored by Western Automation. Our finalists are BG Energy Solutions, Eon Control Solutions, Impact Control Systems, Liverpool John Moores University, Impact Control Systems, St Andrews Healthcare, Kendra Energy Solutions, and Syscom Building Management. Six excellent providers who've all demonstrated outstanding levels of customer service. Our winner this evening is Kendra Energy Solutions. That brings us on to two awards for technical innovation. We begin with Product of the Year. This category is sponsored by the BCIA. Some truly innovative products made it to the shortlist. Baspi Series from Contemporary Controls. Ecopilot UK in partnership with Eon Control Solutions. Mobius Flow Connectors from IA Connects Technology. MEP4D from Tector Analytics. OSS Easy API from OneSight Solutions. Smart Sensor from Sante. Remote Optimal Global Change Tool from SSE Enterprise Energy Solutions and Sentinel from Swarm Neuro. Now, who will be crowned this year's winner? Ladies and gentlemen, the award goes to... Sante for their Smart Sensor! Our second Technical Innovation Award recognises outstanding projects. Our sponsor, Johnson Controls. The finalists in this category are Ecopilot at Paraxel 
from Ecopilot UK in partnership with Eon Control Solutions. Manchester Art Gallery by Impact Control Systems. City of Edinburgh Council Desigo CC Distributed System Solution by SSE Enterprise Energy Solutions. Optigy's Smart Building and Energy Management Solution for workspace from Total Control Services. And Urban Flows Observatory by Tyrrell Systems. Some truly innovative approaches, and all our finalists should be proud of their projects. But who's the winner? A trophy is in the post to Ecopilot UK and Eon Control Solutions for their project Ecopilot at Paraxel. That brings us to the Contribution to Training Awards, sponsored by Siemens Building Products. Our finalists are ABEC, Forest Rock, OneSite Solutions, SSE Enterprise Energy Solutions, and Tyrrell Products. Now, training continues to be the backbone of this industry, and we're delighted to announce the winner as OneSite Solutions. Our penultimate award this evening is brand new for 2020 and recognises the role which smart technology has to play in our buildings. Our sponsor is the BCIA. Here is our first ever Smart Buildings Award shortlist. Ecopilot at Paraxel from Ecopilot UK in partnership with Eon Control Solutions. Smart Office Solution by IA Connects Technology. University College London Student Centre from Kendra Energy Solutions. Fidelity Investments by SSE Enterprise Energy Solutions. Andermatt Concert Hall by Studio Salen Architects. And Crosstalk 3 Brunel University from Tyrrell Systems. So who's won the inaugural Smart Buildings Award for 2020? The trophy goes to Kendra Energy Solutions for University College London Student Centre. And now our final award this evening, the Outstanding Contribution of the Year, sponsored by the BCIA. To present this award, here's the President of the BCIA, Terry Sharp. Thank you, Alan. We have just one remaining award to celebrate this evening for the Outstanding Contribution of the Year. But just to hold the suspense a little longer, I'd firstly like to congratulate all of our finalists once again, and of course, our BCIA Award winners. Very well done to you all. And now to the Outstanding Contribution of the Year Award. Over the years, the winners of this award have all made a significant contribution to the building controls industry, and tonight's winner is no different. Having worked in the industry since starting as an apprentice over 30 years ago, they've worked in a variety of companies and roles where competence and quality have been at the heart of everything they have achieved. But the one area where they continue to stand out is through the work they have done to promote training and development of people in our industry. The need for training is something which the BCIA continues to champion and tonight's winner has been very active in this area for many years. Our winner has used their knowledge and experience to help with the development of skills and training courses for people in the BEM sector and more recently has been a key player in the Trailblazer employer group. A winner also strives to ensure that his organisation continues to invest in apprentices and continuous professional development. Ladies and gentlemen, training continues to lie at the heart of everything that we do in this industry and it gives me great pleasure to present this award tonight to someone who spent many years championing a critical business need for ongoing training and development for staff at every level. I'm delighted therefore to announce that the winner of the 2020 Outstanding Contribution of the Year Award is Sam Saunders of Eon Control Solutions. Huge congratulations to Sam Saunders, richly deserved. 
huge thanks to all of our loyal sponsors, without whom tonight simply wouldn't have been possible. The night is still young. Your virtual rooms remain open until 11pm or whenever the last person leaves. So enjoy catching up or having a boogie in your kitchen. Hopefully your home bars are fully stocked and open. From all of us here tonight, congratulations to our fantastic winners. Winners, when your trophies arrive, don't forget to tweet a picture using the hashtag BCIA Awards 20. And we look forward to welcoming you in the flesh next year at the Birmingham Metropole on the 6th of May 2021. Make a note of the date, 6th of May 2021.